Hello there, nice people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. My name is Nuno. Uh, thank you for stopping by. And today we are going to do a follow up on macOS Mojave Beta 5. I already made a first video, a first look on this new release. So there are several new features and uh, you can check the video if you want. I will leave the link or the card in the end for you to go and to check what are the new features today. My focus is if I, uh, after using it for a while, a day, if I find, if I found something that is not working properly, okay? Keep in mind, of course, this is a beta. So, uh, of course, we'll uh, encounter some issues, but I'm in fact surprised that this build this beta 5 of macOS Mojave is working very well. Now, let's go to some numbers because uh, people on the comments and like to see and I also like to share and I also that's why I have here iStat menus. I also I always like to see how my system is running. Now, for example, I'm using ScreenFlow, so I'm doing a screen record. My CPU is at 5%. OK, guys, so this is very good. My RAM usage, um, it's similar to the last beta and similar to uh, macOS iSierra, so no issues here. The temperature is also very good. So this is not the problem of the operating system, it's the problem of the mouse. So I have, I'm waiting for a new mouse. And the, the temperature, 63 de degrees, also good. No issues there. If I go here to the Intel Power Gadget, you, as you can see, even with this task, um, this is a mid 2015 uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro uh, at 2.5 gigahertz Core i7, and as you can see, I'm this is the baseline, the 2.5 of this CPU, and we are running above, so 2.9, 2. Point, so okay, a little bit off, but uh, we are still in beta. Uh, what I want to see is always above the the um, 2.5 gigahertz that this CPU is capable, and of course we are uh, 2.6. Okay, so sometimes at three, as you can see, uh, so it's turbo boosting. So very very nice temperature, very good, 62 as I told you before, and uh, CPU usage 5%. So running pretty smooth. Now regarding uh, apps that uh, you know are you know a little bit sketchy, Final Cut guys, Final Cut, um, it's not yet optimized for macOS Mojave. So um, as you can see in Beta 4, I had all you know all these layouts, the previews here, but now you know I have to go with the mouse to see them right here, not on this big one here as you can see they disappear they work okay in the titles also here in the effects they disappear so i don't know what happened but they vanished okay so i'm not i have to reinstall uh, again final cut um, this is uh, all my effects i have also LUTs, so that will be a little bit of um, it will take time but okay this is not appearing it they work but they are not here Again, Final Cut is not yet optimized, and uh, I don't know why it, you know, the computer struggles a lot uh, to render, to transcode, to export. When I open, for example, a web page, everything is very laggy when when the video is transcoding and exporting, and that didn't happen with iSierra. So, I'm, of course, this is macOS Mojave Beta. Uh, so it's a beta. Uh, I have to expect problems, but what I'm th I, I think is that uh, Final Cut is not yet optimized for this new release of the Apple operating system for the Mac. Okay, so if you trust uh, we on Final Cut, keep in mind you are running into issues. Now all the applications seem to work very well. One of the things that I don't know if you uh, that it is new on Final Cut is that you can import, you can take a picture 
directly from your phone. So now I'm holding my iPhone. I will take a picture, a real picture of the screen. Okay. And I use the photo and it will appear here. So that feature is working without any issues. Here it is the picture. Okay. Another thing that uh, you want to see the login uh, screen, not the login after the computer went, uh, when it goes to standby, you know that in beta three and beta four, I'm talking about developer betas. Okay. Uh, not public betas, but uh, you know, uh, if it was if it is public for let's imagine we are seeing beta 5 if it is public is public beta 4 okay is always one number uh, uh, below uh, now on beta 3 and beta 4 uh, when you uh, went on standby mode and then you wake up your computer you your screen was white on beta 3 black on beta 4 and now in fact you have the login screen with your wallpaper okay this is fixed there are some people that are asking that in the comments on my uh, on my other videos so guys it is fixed these are the things that are working properly also facetime i showed this on the first video the camera is working again so now i have it is my it is covered my camera now now uh, but uh, i have the opportunity to switch the cameras okay this is the eyesight from the monitor this is an apple uh, cinema display that is connected to the macbook pro and also the camera from that is not you know highlighted because the mac is on clamshell mode so but this facetime is working also i'm able to answer answer the calls on facetime and uh, transfer the calls from um, to my iphone or ipad so that issue is also resolved and i was waiting for this release to to have this issue resolved because i answered many calls on my mac and i make conference calls also and the camera was one of the issues that was annoying me that's why guys i'm i'm using this in my primary system to share with you the videos okay but i also use this for my work and uh, that's why I, my suggestion is if, is if you want to try these better releases from apple go ahead make a partition install uh, this release and also install the the uh, apps that you use on a regular basis to check if they work or not and keep in mind one thing if they can work in this beta but on beta 6 they cannot work again so keep always that in mind i know it's uh, we want always the to be on the top of of, of tech but sometimes uh, things can go wrong now i manage with uh, skype but uh, to make my conference calls but even skype the microphone was not working properly the sound was horrible and now everything it's working without any flaws another issue that is resolved is I, is the Siri? I already showed this on the first video. So if you click, uh, what's There's the weather? nothing to read. What's the weather in Lisbon? The weather's looking good for Lisbon today, up to twenty eight degrees. Okay, so working again without any issues. Perfect. I don't use uh, Siri on the Mac, but now I don't know. It, Tell me if this is uh, was uh, you can now you can open third party applications with Siri. I don't know if this is, was possible or not on previous beta be, betas because I'm not uh, you know I don't use Siri on a Mac <laughs> at all. But probably I'll, I'll start using it. For example, open Spotify. Perfect. Okay, so uh, it's search for Apple News on Twitter. Okay, here are some tweets. Okay. So if you didn't knew this, uh, it is available for third party applications. I don't know. Let's see if it opens Final Cut. Open Final Cut. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Hmm. It's a good tool. I'm, I'm not using Siri, but probably I'll start using and take all this uh, this doc away with all these these things but well i'm a long time mac user and i'm used to having this doc now 
uh, guys, this is in fact what I'm, all my applications are working without any issues uh, besides Final Cut. So everything seems to be running okay. Even, uh, for example, uh, I had an issue with, uh, I have an Airport Express connected to my uh, stereo that wasn't working properly. And now uh, if I want to change my uh, sound to the, to my stereo, uh, to listen to some music and I can now I can do that so perfect so guys for now this is all if you want to see the geek bench and all the you know all, all that numbers uh, it is again I'll leave the the cards on the end of the video for you to to check and uh, uh, as I, I I will ask you uh, to put in the comments what are the issues that you find because it's useful for you for you for me and for community we, we can exchange you know experiences on what we are finding on these new releases because afterwards with beta 6 we can go ahead search that video and see if they are fixed or not now guys this is the follow-up uh, that i uh, wanted to share with you my social links are there uh, for you if you want to follow me and uh, for now this is all thank you once again for stopping by and i'll see you in the near future bye bye